In this video, I'll show you how to solve simple ratios using cross multiplication. Keep in mind that this technique works best when you have a quotient on the left side and one quotient on the right side. So once again, if you have one fraction on the left side and one fraction on the right side, this technique works perfect. Let's start with question one. They ask us to solve for x. And the target here is this x. So what we will do is multiply or start with the bottom left corner, x times 7, so we're cross multiplying to the 7, is 7x. Seven Next we'll move on to the bottom right corner, 9 times 3 is equal to 27. And lastly, we divide both sides by 7, giving us an answer of x is equal to 27 over 7. That is the solution to this question. Moving on to question 2, we're asked to solve for x. We have two x's here, so once again we'll use cross multiplication. There's a fraction here and a fraction there. 3 times x minus 1 is 3 bracket x minus 1. And 5 times x plus 2 is 5 bracket x plus 2. On the left side of this equation now we have 3 times this binomial x minus 1. So we'll multiply 3 times x, that gives us 3x and 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Similarly, 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times 2 is 10. We need to use some algebra here to collect like terms. I'll bring this term over to the left side and this term over to the right side, giving us 3x, this part hasn't changed. 5x was previously positive, now it becomes negative because we have changed its position. 10 is still positive, and this minus 3 becomes plus 3. Notice that it too changes its symbol. On the right side we have 13, and on the left side we have negative 2x, therefore x is equal to 13 over negative 2, or what we commonly like to do is put the negative at the top. And mathematically they mean the exact same thing. In our last question, which is the most complicated question in this group of examples, is we have to solve for a, not for x. Once again, we have a fraction on the left side and a fraction on the right side, so we can cross multiply. Multiplying 2x with a gives us 2xa, and 4x squared times x minus 3 gives us 4x squared x minus 3. Now remember our target is this a. All we have to do is divide both sides by 2x and watch what happens. This cancels out with this, leaving us simply with a on the left side and on the right side 4x squared x minus 3 over 2x. Arguably you're done, except remember there's an x at the bottom here and two x's at the top here, so you can cancel one of the x's at the top with the one at the bottom. Also, four divided by two is simply two, leaving you with two x bracket x minus three is your final answer for question three. And so there you have it. That is how to solve simple ratios using the cross multiplication method.